Today I'm going to have a look at some of the software that comes with the Empower motherboard. So, first thing is MSI's Live Update 5, which is their software update program. Home screen is just information about your system. Live Update, it will show you updates available. You can do a manually manual scan to manually scan for specific types of things like the BIOS or the drivers or whatever or you can do just automatic scan and that will scan for everything download will download it to a specific location and then you can install it later if you want and then total installer once you've selected a few things you can hit total installer and that will install it right away for you history settings you can say frequency of when it's going to remind you to scan for updates and then the about tab is just the uh, program information so I believe you get a version of this with the regular boards like the GD65 but I think it's blue this one has a custom uh, yellow Empower skin on it uh, along here you get voltage and temperature information as well as fan information here you get main board information. You can click more for any of these and it'll bring this pop-up tab. CPU, if you click advanced, you'll get a little meter for all the CPU cores. And more will give you information again. Same with the memory. You can pick each slot here and hit more or hit timing to see the timings. Here you get voltages and stuff and I'm not too familiar with how this works but I would just do it in the BIOS or do it in the software BIOS because that seems to be a bit more temporary but you can do it here and I can't say for sure how this works so I'm not gonna you know not gonna talk negative about it because I haven't really tried it along here you get the OC Genie which is pressing this if you haven't made a custom profile or anything pressing this is just like pressing the the button on the board it'll scan your CPU and put a mild overclock on it and it will basically scan your memory and, and set the XMP profile green power you can say uh, fan, smart fan control for each of the fans and along here it'll it'll show if you don't have smart fan control checked then you can just set a uh, a fixed speed but again here once you restart it's gonna just reset this so if you want to have it be more permanent go into the BIOS and set your fan speed and that way it'll, it'll stay that way forever until, until the BIOS is reset or whatever LED this is the CPU phase mode LED you can turn it off and on but again as soon as you restart it's gonna it's going to turn it back on so go into the vials go into green and turn it off there and that way it will stay off for good record is basically you can select this stuff and this is just a warning you hit play and it will start recording a little graph and each of these colors shows you what it is 3 volt, 5 volt, 12 volt, V core, CPU fan fan 1 through 5 CPU utilization, temperature, and system temperature. So you can run a game or run something, and you can set the time period. You can have a 60 minute graph of all your stuff, and then you can have a look at that later. And then mobile center, you can uh, have, there's an app for your phone, and you can control the, the motherboard stuff with your phone. Here you've got Click BIOS 2, which is basically a software BIOS. A lot of these things are going to be really similar with the regular BIOS. And like I mentioned with the Control Center, you can set some stuff in the Control Center, but then it's going to be reset once you restart the computer or even put it to sleep. So if you want something like the fan curves, uh, if you want to set a fixed fan percentage, I would recommend doing it in the BIOS. And so you can, if you want to do it in the BIOS, you can do it here. You go to hardware monitor for example and you can set fan speeds right here and then that's going to be 
permanent as well as all the other stuff eco motherboard LED you can set that to off and that's going to be permanent as well so it's all the standard stuff same stuff as the regular BIOS you've got your turbo speed step OC genie profile memory timings memory settings CPU ratio all of this stuff voltages fast boot and all that stuff and then the regular settings again same stuff as the regular BIOS up along here you can drag and drop your boot device priority stuff you can see your CPU temperature I believe it's the package but it, I'm not sure of that and then system information here this will just show you the information about the program and then control center there's a link and you can go to the control center from here so if you want to do something in your bot in your BIOS um, but you don't want to restart right now it's sort of like the restart later option when you've updated something or installed a new program you can you can go in here say you want to enable a uh, hot plug for one of your serial tape ports you can do that here and then you can just keep doing what you're doing and then restart later on and it will be enabled so I think that this is a pretty good feature um, personally I, I usually forget about it so I haven't really used it much but I do think it definitely could be useful if you do remember to use it maybe make an icon for yourself or something so this is the click BIOS and I think that this is pretty good the Realtek audio thing is pretty basic it's just a, an MSI branded Realtek audio manager but I find that this thing at the top where it, it does like the the zoom in it, it really is not necessary and I find that it's kind of annoying but for the amount of times that you're going to be using this uh, you may even be able to turn it off but um, I haven't found that so this is just pretty basic nothing special here and um, if you've got a sound card or something of course you won't even be using this Supercharger is supposed to be for fast charging devices and um, there's really nothing to it. All you do is you can click that and it will tell you syncing will be disabled in fast charging mode and um, you can just say OK and then that's really all there is to this interface but you can see the UI is similar to the other applications. There's a quick look at True Studio Pro. Basically, there's a volume here. There's a surround control of the, le of the level of audio immersion in music, movies, and games. There's crystallizer. Enhance music and movies to make them sound livelier. Speaker. Enhance the sound quality and bass of any speaker for better listening experience and then smart volume adjust the loudness of your audio playback automatically to minimize sudden volume changes and then dialogue plus enhance the voices in movies for clearer dialogue so that's true studio haven't tried it but that's just a look at the interface here's a quick look at audio genie which i have never used as well you can do speaker placement stuff here and then there's modes so game mode movie mode optimum mode clean mode phone mode and music mode and then this just leads to true studio pro so with video genie when i launch it it literally makes the screen really dark so and then you can see here there's a thing for normal profile and video genie which is lighter in this display box you can enable and disable it 
and say browse files, cancel, OK, apply. So I'm not entirely sure what this does, but um, it completely changes my color profile when I launch it.